Here we check with the plastic gauge on the bearing clearance, or we show you how you plastic gauge to check the oil clearances on the bearings from the stock engine to the ACL race bearings here. So we start with the stock high mileage motor. We we'll check the clearances on this, so it will be really interesting to see what we find on high mileage motor, right? Yep, so we drop in the crank. We do every single step for you guys to show you all the steps that we do to get the accurate reading on the plastic gauge. We show you this, how it's laid down, of course, and all this. We also show you how to check the routes, which is hard. So, yep, this is for you. <laughs> And I know not everyone has a dial board gauge or micrometer like elite shops locally. Some don't have it, but hey, here we can check it with the plastic gauge. We still double check it even though we have a micrometer. We still do the final checking with the plastic gauge just to be sure because you can never measure too much. So we always measure two to three times before having things machined. So we check it here. We use the green plastic gauge because it covers the range of the oil clearances that works for us, for Honda, for most imports. So here you can see there's the millimeter side and on this side is the inches and that's what we always check with. As you can see, the middle part is 0 0.0015 inches. That's the ideal oil clearances on average. So we always reference that. So yep, we cut a piece of that. And here is the block, we cleaned it up. We still re-showed you or reinstalled the used main bearings just to show you guys. So, yep, let's start. Let's drop in the crank now carefully. We make sure so that we can measure the oil clearances of a high mileage motor. This is a B20 CRV engine. All right, there you go. And then, of course, we drop in the thrust washers. Just to, just to minimize any movement of the crank, we wipe off the number three journals because we're gonna use the red number three journals to show you guys. Of course, you can usually check plastic in all the journals, but we're gonna check just the number three to save time. Here, we cut about a width of the journal, not too short or not too long, so we can install it properly. And here it is. Let me show you how it is or how it sits on the journal. Let me unclip the phone. There you go, just about right in that position. So we can check the oil clearances across the journal, not length, lengthwise across. Here's the reference point, the paper that we checked. So it comes with the reference point of the plastic gauge. So now we oil up, we install the main cast, but we also oil up the main bolts just to make sure the torque readings are accurate when we torque them on the correct sequence or steps. Now we hand tight this. So we can proceed with the torquing steps. And yes, before we continue, I need a favor. Hit the like button because the more likes the video gets, the more activity it shows the algorithm and the algorithm is spread it out to a wider audience. So we get more views. It helps the channel big time. So I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you for liking the video. Yeah. If you haven't, of course, you got to subscribe. This way you can watch all the other videos when in your own time because you can check it out when you're already subscribed. And yes, for the hardcore enthusiast, we also got the members only section here. We got lots of good videos for shop work and all the tech stuff, including this. Even the dyno tuning, we talk about tuning ex extensively. And we're actually making a video, working on a video on the basics of ECU tuning, the first steps or the basic like from the idle to the novice area into the expert stuff so yeah there you go okay so first step is 18 feet pounds torque it's gonna be a slightly lighter click but hey that's how it is there you go yeah now we speed it up so it doesn't get too boring yep and then the last one and then we go to the next step. So now that's okay now. So next step is 56 feet pounds torque. So this is going to be louder now. At least you hear it. Oh, yeah, it's louder. Yeah, and then we can speed this up. 56 feet pounds torque. The last one, click. 
all right so now we be careful don't turn the crank you're gonna smidge the plastic gauge so we loosen the number three remove the cap and show you let me unclip the phone let us check oh there it is there you go where's the reference point the paper let me show you oh here there it's a little wider than 0 0.0015 so this comes close to 0 0.0014 when you think about it, which is absolutely perfect because there's oem main bearings and this is all oem stock so imagine even if it's a high mileage 180,000 plus miles it's still 0 0.0014 on the main bearings that's awesome props to honda right and the maintenance of this car or the owner that's pretty good see it's a little bit wider so that's like closer to 0 0.0014 so yep yeah all right now we clean this off and then now we go to the acl race main bearings here it is yep all right now let's unpack it oh yeah all right we're gonna put this on the block this bottom half and the top half on the caps all right so let's go to any stand here we go we clean up we made sure to clean up the saddle we drop in the main bearings let me show you pardon the gecko it's foresty here oh look at that yeah all right now we oil the journals except for number three thrust washers in wipe up the number three journals make sure the plastic is good there all right hand tight as usual before we proceed to the first step all right all right it's getting closer all right now it's first steps 18 feet pounds torque of course there you go yeah and then speed this up so it doesn't get too boring all right the last one yes okay now the second step 56 feet pounds torque careful not to move the crank or not to turn it there's louder yeah okay, speed it up okay now the last one and then we can check the mains number three main now we loosen it up remove the mains number three of course now let's check it with the acl race bearing oh look at that it's a little narrower so i interesting oh there so now this one looks like it's actually 0 0.0016 so it's a little looser which is natural and normal because it's an acl race bearing it has a little bit more clearances than stock so this is good but hey if you run too much clearances you kill oil flow and then suddenly you, you're gonna blame the oil pump so hey we see that trend right now let's go here this is the trick that we're doing you don't need extra tools or special tools we just use two pairs of wrench lock it up to to stop the movement on the counterweight of the crank it doesn't move now we can check the rod journals yep simple right anyone can do that now here it is now let's check let's install the piston the number two all right it's still the oem bearings let's check it put the plastic gauge there make sure it's all good okay straight now let me show you there you go there's the plastic gauge right there right sorry sorry, sorry. there you right sorry for the focus all right now continue we lower it and put it on the rod journals get the cap on and then of course we torque it properly first step is 14 feet pounds torque and the second is 23 because this is just stock rods i uh, stock rod bolts we haven't installed the air period yet that's on the build series not on this video all right there you go okay let not move it that helps those wrenches right now we remove the cap we remove the pistons let's go to the workbench here it is now 
as you can see. Wait, let me show, show you closer. The rods, you see the, barely see the plastic each there, but it's, it's visible. Look at that. That's close to 0 0.015. Whereas the mains is close to 0 0.014, a uh, 0 0 0.014, right? This is close to 0 0 0.015. That's, that's all Honda. And this is also worn out. So this is perfect when you run ACL race bearings. It's going to be a lot looser, which is going to be safer on the rods. So, yep, this, we don't need to check on that because we know it's going to be a lot looser. So that's perfect, right? As soon as we get done with the B20 build series episode, we're going to pin it in the comment and the description below. And of course, for all the other shop work and tech stuff that we have, we have a playlist. And yes, you can click it right here.